authorities in Dane County want to spread the word about a new text to 911 service. They did a test run of the service back in November, and after working out some of the bugs, they say it's ready for everyone to use. NBC 15's Lauren Winfrey explains how it works. A familiar sound when dialing 911 now has some company. Across the country, more and more 911 centers are taking advantage of that offering. Text to 911 gives people the option to text instead of calling, but there are some limitations. It does add time to processing. Uh, there's going to have to be a lot of clarification, and it's challenging as a call taker, as a dispatcher, because you don't have tone of voice. Dane County Public Safety says text to 911 should be used sparingly, and in instances when a person is deaf or hard of hearing, if the caller is in a noisy environment, or if they could be in danger if someone hears the call. It may not come in on a, in a timely way. Uh, it's dependent on the internet. Although not a seamless system, it has come in handy. We did get a text message during the height of the East Town Mall incident just before Christmas when somebody fired a shot in the mall. And just like if you were to call when texting, include location and the nature of the emergency. Reporting in Madison, Lauren Winfrey, NBC 15 News. To clarify, all you have to do is text information about an emergency to the number 911. Officials do admit there are limitations to text to 911. They say they still prefer calling if you are able to do so.